deadly weekend uprising in South Carolina prison brings back some painful memories of last year's deadly escape attempt that ended with the deaths of four prison workers at Pasquotank Correctional Institution. This is in Elizabeth City. CBS 17's Robert Richardson is getting answers about how local lockups look to learn from any incident involving inmate riots. It's still very early in the investigation to a deadly prison riot in Bishopville, South Carolina. That's two and a half hours from the prisons here in Raleigh, but with seven dead inmates and 17 more needing treatment for injuries, the eight hour incident is getting attention from wardens here in Wake County. I found out the North Carolina director of prisons, Kenneth Lassiter, routinely talks with correctional administrators in South Carolina and other neighboring states. Lee Correctional is South Carolina's largest maximum security prison with nearly 1,800 inmates. Raleigh Central Prison, a closed custody facility comparable to maximum security in other states, had 945 inmates as of Monday afternoon. Wake Correctional Center, a minimum security prison, started the week with 397. A spokesperson for the North Carolina Department of Corrections told me its facilities are always reviewing procedures and looking for improvements. In October, four prison workers died after an uprising at Pasquotank Correctional Institute near the state's northeastern coast. I learned today that the two top administrators at Pasquotank are still on paid administrative leave following the National Institute of Corrections report. Wake County Sheriff Donnie Harrison says he's eager to see the future assessment of everything that transpired in South Carolina. Anytime something happens like this, regardless, we, we try to learn from it. Things that happen, what led up to it, what could they have prevented, we always look back and see. And in the immediate aftermath of Sunday, they're all on alert. Don't you think those inmates don't know about it too? Don't you think those correction officers, they listen, they watch, uh, they see the, you know, if there's a spark here or spark there. The sheriff says there's usually a milder mentality in county jails as most of these inmates are still awaiting trial. Harrison says that they don't want to get in any more trouble. Reporting at the Wake County Detention Center in Raleigh, Robert Richardson, CBS 17 News.